Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com. And let's look at forums today. Now, this is getting a little better for me. Uh, forum topics here. Uh, this, is, this is kind of fun to build a community. Um, one of the ways to get your customers involved, to get your, uh, the membership of your site involved is to use forums. And we'll get into later connecting forums to Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. But forums is a place for people to either get information, leave information, interact with uh, uh, each other, and basically get the end user involved. Now, think about this, though. Creating content can be time consuming. Okay. Google likes new content. Well, if you set up a forum and your user users are creating content for you, you have many, many people working for you basically. So forums are very important for sites in the fact that it can be a way to generate free content uh, for you. It could be a way to interact with your customers. It keeps them involved. It keeps them coming back. If, if you set it up so that um, a post when a post is sent, everybody that is involved with that post gets an email that says, hey, somebody posted on your forum and then they go back and they interact again and again. Well, man, you have this cycle of new content, keeping your customers uh, active and involved with your site. This is very powerful. Um, let's take a look at this. So make sure you go to structure, then go over here to forums. Now, forums are divided into two or really one thing you can have a forum and then you can have a discussion under that forum okay so we have two forms here general discussion and suggestions but you have this add container okay so let's explain the difference between these two let's say you had a list of 30 different forms and you're like my goodness this is getting out of control I need to organize this well you add a container here and you can organize your forms under different topics. For example, we can add this container to be the default Drupal Gardens forums. And um, so a slight description there. And we want to keep this, we could put them under the other two forums, but that wouldn't be good. So we save. Now we have this default Drupal Gardens forums container, but these are not under this. I'm going to put these two underneath this one so we can organize it. All right. So we go into the general discussion, make the parent the default push save. And now it's underneath. Let's do the same thing here. Make that the default, uh, make that the root, uh, well, the parent basically and so now you've organized them under here so we can add another container now we'd probably want to name these something else and we'll make that the root and then we can save and now we can create another forum underneath this folder basically these are basically folders that have forums as files underneath so let's add a forum here <clears throat> All right. And we're going to make the root chats creations and save. So you can see here, we're creating a nice little structure that is very organized and everything. And uh, it's good. Now, notice here, we only have three forums. Okay. These are not forums. And the reason that, and the reason that's important we can go up here and add content. Okay. We go to forum topics and let's do a test run in forums. And I'm not going to put any tags. We'll discuss that later. We can select the forums. Now I tested this earlier. Okay. And if I click Chad's creation, which is not a forum, it's actually a topic. Okay, watch what happens. So we've got that there. We're not going to do a mini link. It's going to give me an error. Uh-oh. You try to put it in the folder instead of the forum. So let's drop down to Chad's first forum. Now push save. 
and there you go you have it in the forum topics now when we go to the forums button over here you can see Chad's first forum has one post well let's click in there and see what's going on. and test run in forums was so many you know no replies created and so forth and you can see that I've got this little test run now let's add a little comment here uh, they see that you know they've got this topic running why well, I'm interested in test runs and forums ha 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 um let's see I think your test run forum is an awful topic that's a subject now get this notify me when new comments are posted yes and I'm going to say tell me what you whoops think all right real short and sweet there and push save comes back over here I think your test run form is awful tell me what you think okay so it's got the little avatar if I'd set up my avatar it would post under there and now you've got this running conversation okay um, this is awesome I'm gonna use uh, this is awesome I think everyone should use this on all their sites this is a must get your people involved if you're if you're taking up sewing class well get topics on different sewing set up different forums and, and, and get this um, when people have you qu have questions for you uh, say they're emailing you and saying hey how do you do this how do you do that well you can set up a forum for that not only can your users contribute to that but you can put your answers in there and then when they write you and say how do you do this you say I appreciate you asking that we have a forum specifically for that topic here's the link if you have any additional questions please email me again and you just saved yourself a ton of work because you can send out that email time and time and time again and so you saved yourself a ton of work you've got enough to do to <laughs> to build your site and answering questions like that is going to steal your time. So forms are a great way to you know to redirect people to the information they need, and at the same time save you time. So there you go. That's how you set up forms. Okay, and the last thing for permissions. I know those are setting them up in general, but what about specifically? What if you really don't want unauthorized people to post on your on your uh, forum? Now this is this is important to consider go over here to people and notice this tab right here uh, this sets the permissions for each of these user groups and we've got four uh, well let me count here one two three four five six different um, roles right here that they've set up now you could go in here and set up additional roles and feel free to do that but for our example here uh, we need to decide who can post to our for forums okay it scares me a little bit just to have an anonymous user come along and post because they will end up posting the crap out of you okay so let's type in the word post in our find highlight all and notice we can scroll down the page and start seeing post options view the add this widget user can see the button which allows them to share post now of course all these guys are going to be able to but do you want the anonymous user and the authenticated user to use the sh add this button and yes I mean that's okay do you want them to be able to post comments I would say I don't really want anonymous users posting maybe okay I'm gonna leave that check for right now but really consider that maybe you want them to sign in now one of the things I want you to consider is don't be afraid to force people to give you their email address before they can do anything on your site besides look at the content if they want to participate with you you need to be in contact um, because if they're not willing to sign up with you then 
that's not the person you want on your site. Okay? So, forcing them to do, uh, to, to participate in your uh, community legitimately could be very important. Uh, if they're not willing to do a legit sign up, then maybe we don't want them on our site. Okay? Now, who can subscribe? You remember the comment not uh, notifications? Love, love, love this feature. Who can subscribe to uh, receive notifications when comments are posted? So if you uncheck post comments, you would probably want to uncheck this. Now the difference is, is maybe they could subscribe to any comments made just to monitor it. Uh, you might think about that. Scroll on down. Let's see if there's any more options here. And I don't see any other options here. Uh, the only other option I can see, of course, those are the posted, is type in the word forum. Okay. Now, these are permissions. Here's your form. Who can administer your forums? Right now, only the administrator can. Well, maybe you set up a role of forum administrator and you let him administer the forums. That's setting up containers, setting up forums. And then scroll down here a little bit farther. Who can administer or who can create a new form topic? Well, do you want the blogger, the editor, or authenticated user to set it up? You would probably want the topics to be up here with the editor and people you can control. Um, edit your own form topics. Uh, edit any form topic. Delete your own form topics. And delete any form topics. So let's say you have sub-editor and the main editor. Well, maybe the main editor deletes any and edits any forum topics and the sub editor edits their own stuff so you have a lot of control in your permissions we'll go over permissions and roles a little bit later but you'll need to know that as you're going through your forms that you need to set up your permissions all right guys um that covers today i will see y'all tomorrow